we're talking about gamma, and uh, uh, and gamma again is is uh, how to measure or a measurement of the effect that I get from making intelligent financial decisions during retirement. Now, now we say during retirement. Now, what makes uh, your asset allocation different during retirement? Um, primarily is that it's in a stage of your life where you're making withdrawals from your uh, portfolio as opposed to adding to your portfolio. Earlier in life, we're just putting money away for the future. And, uh, and by, at that time in our lives, we can make different asset allocation decisions uh, that fit me at that time. But once I get into retirement, now my concern is how do I get the, the use of my portfolio and, and I certainly believe very strongly that, that the portfolio itself is only a tool to deliver uh, what I can get from it. Uh, it's, that, it's that monthly income that I think is uh, the most important thing. Uh, it's what I pay my bills with. It's what defines my lifestyle. No matter how much money I have, if I can't get it out and get it to, uh, into my bank account so I can pay my uh, monthly bills or pay for my trip, then it has very little value. So it's all about what it can deliver to me, uh, essentially. And in retirement, uh, and, and that's pretty common, um, we want to be able to get money from our portfolio to live our lives. So the withdrawal mechanism, though, is again going to affect the results of my portfolio. Now, uh, the researchers uh, talk about a dynamic withdrawal strategy. Now, by dynamic, they're simply saying that your, uh, your withdrawals should be a factor uh, or should be changing all the time. Uh, they shouldn't be static. Uh, so a static withdrawal would be that I'm going to start today from retirement. I'm going to take out 4% every year uh, for the rest of my life, and that's how I'm going to live my life. Um, and, and that 4% might well be adjusted each year for inflation from the original number. The research would tell us that, well, the markets go up and down and they go left and right and they go all over the place. And so having a static withdrawal um, uh, plan without being adjust for what has just happened uh, and what our changing expectations might be for the future in the marketplace um, is, is not going to give us the, the best positive results. So being able to look at what we're withdrawing and uh, changing it and adapting it as we go will also have a positive effect on our, on our results. So, so what we're really just simply saying is that you d don't get fixed in your, your mind that this is how much I'm going to take out each year. Uh, I'm going to make uh, good decisions every year to adjust that withdrawal, uh, those withdrawal amounts based on what is happening around me. Uh, and that's what dynamic means. Now, there's a practical side to this though. Uh, we're trying to help clients take out money to pay for their lifestyle. And unfortunately, lifestyles don't tend to go up and down uh, with the marketplace. Oh, it's a great year in the market, so I should, I'm gonna go spend a lot of money this year. Uh, the market's in, uh, not doing very well, so I guess I really don't need any vacations. I'm happy with that, the market's down. I'm, uh, that's not how people want to live their lives. So th there is a, a bit of a, a quandary here with, uh, we know that your investment result will be positively affected by tailoring it to the current environment. Um, again, that dynamic withdrawal strategy, but uh, there's a, the, it's not really practical uh, for many of us. So, uh, but again, um, part of that decision-making process, and, and I think, again, we're, we're saying that there's a positive effect by making ongoing decisions, um, you're going to deal with that kind of uh, problem, which uh, is that I really, I want to take out a more level stream of income, even though the markets are going up and down with me, and how do I do that? Okay, and uh, there is different ways to to deal with that uh, that we work with clients on, and so a lot of it's buffering. Um, you know, make sure that we can um, always be able to take out some money, um, uh, guaranteed. To, we know it's going to come out, so we've already pre-planned for it. Let's say, um, so that as something is, is unusual going on in the marketplace, we already have our plan for the withdrawal. So maybe it's uh, seeing you know trying to stay ahead of the curve a little bit. 
but at the end of the day, I mean, th there's no question that you're going to get a positive result by making good decisions about your withdrawals as time goes on. Uh, the, the researchers uh, presented a, um, a bit of a troubling pattern, I think, in, in that they, they do know that your overall result will be better if we tailor that um, by increasing it as we get older. And, and it kind of, it's kind of logical that if I'm 65 years old and I've got, uh, you know, another 25 to 30 years to live, I've got a lot of uncertainty in front of me. Uh, but when I'm 90 years old and I'm uh, in the last few years of my life, taking 20% out of my portfolio every year thereafter probably isn't a problem. Uh, when I'm 65 and I got all those years in front of me, I probably can only take out 3 or 4% out of my portfolio. Uh, so uh, they certainly do tell us what I think we would all would conclude logically is that if as the older I get, the more I can take out of my portfolio. Uh, so I think our job as advisors is to find a way to uh, put that, um, you know, clarity of, we know the result will be good if we do that, but we need to fit that back in the context of your own life, where in fact your expenses may be higher at 65 than they are at 95. We still have great uncertainty um, um, at 65 to how long you're going to live. Um, so we, we, we need to be, again, making good decisions on an ongoing basis to, to try to overcome that, uh, that problem of that great uncertainty when we're younger. Because I do want to take out maybe more money when I'm 65 years old. Um, and again, it, I think it can, brings us right full circle back to where what we're saying is we need to always be keeping our eye on the withdrawals and adjusting our portfolio to take into account that those are what my withdrawals are and my withdrawal uh, strategy is changing.